Hey everyone, welcome back to The Road to Superman. This is episode 35, and today we have a huge video. We have finally got some set photos of Green Lantern and Hawk Girl, and some really heartwarming photos and videos of our Superman. The costumes for Guy Gardner and Hawk Girl are very controversial looks, so let's dive right into these photos to break them down. So here is what Guy Gardner and Hawk Girl will look like in James Gunn's Superman movie. Now I admit, these are not what I expected. Expected. Whilst they seem consistent with the rest of the hero's looks, which is good, I just don't like the designs. They feel way too CWE. Just jackets with logos on and quite cheap. But we need to see what they look like in the movie. I'm sure they will be touched up with CGI to make some tweaks to them. Films always do. But Hawkgirl's outfit is the most disappointing out of the two, in my opinion, as, as Hawkman's costume in Black Adam was really strong, and this looks far cheaper. Obviously different universes with different aesthetics, but still, not a great design. And as for Guy Gardner, honestly, I think he looks really dumb in the comics and was worried it was going to look exactly like that. So this is actually an upgrade. They went from terrible to all right. They also made the ginger hair look better than I thought it could. So that is a plus. An issue people have with his costume is the fact that he hasn't got a predominantly green suit, which I completely get, until you realize the reason for that. Guy Gardner, Hawk Girl, and Mr. Terrific all have Lord Ted logo on their chest, and what colour is consistent in all of their outfits? Black and white. So clearly there is a link between them, and the colour scheme and material quality also represent that. I think these costumes were designed by Maxwell Lord, so they all represent his group, and that may be a storytelling element as to why they look like this. Some have said that they're going to be the Terrifics, but I think they are going to be a part of the Justice League International, a group formed by Maxwell Lord, and I think they are here to try and recruit Superman, or at least they are here to help him stop the chaos going on in Metropolis. Now in this photo here, we can see all four of the heroes walking or flying along the grass, and firstly, Superman looks awesome, easily looking the best out of all four, and I think that was done on purpose. But secondly, who is the guy in the blue costume? Now, people are guessing that this could be Metamorpho, who will be appearing in the movie, but it has been confirmed that he was just there to help guide the actors into place, and he will be removed in post. And this isn't all we have had from today. We also got a video of the heroes walking along the grass, and just look at what happens to Superman. How sweet is that? We're going to be seeing a Superman who truly connects with people. In other movies, it was just focused on Superman saving the day and stopping the big bad, which I loved, but I'm also glad that this movie seems to be focusing on the smaller things too. As a kid, I looked up to Superman, and I know that if I actually saw Superman, I would probably want to go give him a hug as well. He is a role model to kids, and to see that we're actually getting to see that in the movie is amazing. I don't I don't know if we have actually properly seen that for a long time now, and I think it is such an important element of Superman's character to see. It humanizes him and allows us to connect to him in a different way. And I know people are going to compare the two, but just because Henry Cavill's Superman didn't do this as such, doesn't mean he was a bad Superman. It just means the approach was different. And that's the big thing people tend to miss. People are comparing Man of Steel and the rest of Snyder's DC movies to this Superman movie movie, and we really shouldn't. The directors are coming at these stories from two very different angles. Snyder was making a more serious and grounded approach that saw these characters as gods, which is a fascinating element to explore. Gunn is taking a more fantasy and varied approach with these characters, where they are more human and closer to their comic book roots, which is also a very fascinating element to explore. To compare them to one another for elements that are purposefully done differently would be unfair to both both of them. It would be like comparing an F1 car to an SUV. Both are built for very different 
situations and work far better than the other for what they were designed for. But anyway, back to the episode. I love seeing Superman smile here. Seeing him bring joy to these kids who look up to him and him happy to see them as well is great. I think Gunn really understands the connection Superman has to the younger generations and this scene will show that. And what furthers my theory that the Justice League International will appear in the movie is that the Greater Cleveland Partnership have confirmed that the production of Superman will be heading to Cincinnati later this month. And on one of the banners from Metropolis that they shared, the blueprints for the Hall of Justice can be seen, meaning that the Justice League do exist. Now, this is huge. I'm no expert on the different versions of the Justice League, but a Justice League does exist, and I think it may be created by Lord Tech. And maybe Superman inspires the heroes to be heroes in a different way. He is described to be a hero that shows kindness in a world that views this as old-fashioned, and maybe the other heroes view it as old-fashioned too. And perhaps something in the movie makes them realise that Superman is right, and he inspires them to be better. Perhaps Superman costume being so different to theirs is almost representing how Superman is different to these heroes. He is unique and acts differently to the others, and maybe Superman inspires these heroes to be true to who they are as individuals, and not just puppets to a company. So instead of representing Lord Tech, they represent themselves. Maybe by the end of the film, Superman inspires them to return to their own colours, and we see a better Green Lantern and Hawk Girl costume. Who knows, but what I do know is that I love these new shots of Superman, but I don't really like the designs of the other two heroes. But maybe with the context of the movie, they make more sense and look better. I'm gonna wait to give my full judgement on these suits until when the movie actually comes out. I think with how good technology is right now, it would be silly to judge the suits without seeing how they look in post. Not only that, but context is very important. These could be corporate suits that Maxwell Lord is forcing them to wear, even when they don't like it, and it may play into them going against him or something like that. The point is, you're completely entitled to your own opinion on this, but I think we should just wait and see how the final product looks and why it looks like that. If the movie comes out and the suits don't look any different and it's for no storytelling reason, then I will make it clear that I don't think these were good design choices, but I've had many experiences with these movies where something may look great behind the scenes or in a trailer, but actually is terrible terrible in the movie, and vice versa. So I've learned to sometimes just sit back and wait for the final product. Not everything needs an instant definitive reaction. Before we end the video, I just want to say a big, big thank you for all of the support on the web series. Since the set photos have released, our community has grown and the series has become more popular, and I'm so grateful for that. I'm loving every episode, and please make sure to keep commenting your thoughts on these updates, because I do read them and do try try and respond to as many as possible. I love seeing your reactions and having really interesting discussions with you all, so please keep it up. But that is all for today's episode of The Road to Superman. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an episode. I hope to see you here again soon, so until then, have a great day. Bye!